All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another match day vlog. West Brom versus Huddersfield at the Hawthorns. 3 p.m. kickoff, finally. Um, to be honest, today's going to be a game what I'm expecting us to win. Um, you know, we need to win. We, we need to start, you know, going on a run. Uh, I believe if we win today, we can go up to 7th if Millwall lose, which is pretty good. Only a few points off the playoffs as well. Wigan wasn't the best performance. We got the job done. A lot of positives, clean sheet, managed to win. That's all you can ask for, really, and I'm, I'm really happy with that win. But today will be a bit more tricky, I believe. Um, you know, Corbahan, former team, did really well with him when he was there, got him to the playoffs, and Warnock's had quite a lot to say about him, so... I'm hoping that Corbahan proves him wrong. Liam, what's your score prediction today, mate? Um, I'm going to go 3-0 to Albion. I'm looking forward to the protests. I like 3pm kickers on a Saturday. Come on, you baggies. Yeah, I'm going to go 2-0. I never said mine. I'm going to say DK to get a brace. Um, really looking forward to the protests as well. I'll, me and Liam will definitely be there. I think there'll be a separate video regarding the um, protests as well. So, see you at the ground, guys. Come on, you baggies. Alright guys, joined by Jonathan as always, aka Crazy Shadow Thoughts Football. Go check him out. Jonathan, what do you make of today, mate? Uh, it looks like a good turnout. I mean, there's still more people to come. Uh, Darren from my channel, he's on the way now as we speak. Um, so yeah, it's looking like a really good uh, turnout in support of Action for Albion. What's your uh, score prediction, mate? Uh, I'm predicting 3-0 to the Albion, um, DK to get a couple and Jed Wallace as well. Uh, do, what, what, who's the main threat, would you say, for Huddersfield? I don't know much about the uh, the Huddersfield team, but, um, you know, they uh, but, like they were nearly bottom of the table, um, only by virtue of us beating Wigan on Tuesday, are they not? Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's uh, that, they've been lacking goals as any team in the bottom three at the moment. So, yeah. Did you see um, uh, Neil, Warnock's, Neil Warnock's comments about Corbahan saying he must have a good agent to get the West Brom job? Did you see that? Yeah, I thought that was a bit cheeky. Considering our history with Neil Warnock, uh, Battle of Bramall Lane comes to mind. Um, yeah, I thought I thought it was a little bit cheeky, but then again... Bit of a dig. It, absolutely. He's never liked us, we've never liked him, so, you know, it's... It's a tip for that, really. Cheers, mate. Give us an oh, up the Albion. Up the Albion! Alpha's Bay, let's do it for about 10 15 minutes, and everybody again in the game safely. Thank you very much for everybody. Fuck Good Chandler! Fuck you, Chandler! Loads of kids about those, so thanks very much for everybody coming along. Really appreciate it. We'll be back again.
All right, guys, joined by Ali Jones, uh, basically the founder of Action for Albion. Mate, that was absolutely superb today. Can't Put that into words. I know, yeah, it's fantastic. I mean, it was really well. Brilliant. Thank you very much for everybody that's come. Three and a half thousand, was it? Possibly. We, the police said, said that's possibly how many were there. So, absolutely fantastic. Thank you very much for everybody that came along. We're, we're blown away, honestly. It just shows the feeling of everybody around the club, really, that where we are. So. But I just want to say thank you on thank a personal you. level. Because this club means as much to me as it does you. We're and, doing and it for everybody, mate. It's not just for Ali Jones, it's not for Paul Fork or any of the committee members. We're doing it for all Albion people. And you can see how much the club means to yeah. everyone uh, Everyone who got Dave. there. You can, uh, you can see how much the club means to everyone with the numbers what come in today. Yeah. And I thought the way you organised it was brilliant, you know, before the game, so more people could be aware as well. Yeah, so I mean, it's been absolutely fantastic well received. Just keep watching our socials. We're not going to go away. This isn't a, this isn't a, a small term process. We've got to make sure we're here for the long term. We'll probably have a little bit of time to restock and reevaluate what we're going to do now, but we'll always be planned, we'll always be structured like we've done today. Really, really started. professional as well. You. you see a lot of these protests where people are swearing all the time, people we'll are going, people yeah. are attacking, you know. We had Sky Sports, ITV, BBC, all the national newspapers. We had to make our club proud today, so we've done it. Well. Give we us an up the Albion, Ali. Up the Albion. All right, guys, heading into the ground now, just been to the protests. I've got to say, really, really good turnout. Um, great support. A few words, Liam. What do you reckon of that protest? Um, Super. Very. Uh, just want to say, yeah, like Connor said before the video started, very, very well organised by Ashton for Albion. Um, shows the fans care. Thousands of fans there. Let's just keep pushing on and get this scummy owner out of our football club. See you in the ground, guys. Come on, you back. Stand up! About 21 minutes in. It's been a poor game so far. There's literally been nothing, nothing to really show, really, apart from one shot. What the keeper parried, but poor, poor game so far. It's just not getting going whatsoever. Come on. Penalty, West Brom. Look like a blatant penalty to me. Definitely a penalty. Come on, Albion. <laughs> Alright guys, half time, 1 0 West Brom. Bit of a flat, boring game to be honest, but all that matters, like I said, against Wigan when we were 1 0 up, is that we're getting the win. Well, we're winning. Um, I don't care if we win 1 0, 2 0, 2 1. Doesn't matter to me as long as we win. Um, and to be fair, I think John Swift's had a good game. Uh, I know that he scored the penalty, but I'm not just saying it because of that. I think he's worked really hard. I think Jed Wallace is off it a little bit, but. You know what, we've played okay, um, got the job done, we're 1-0 up. But I will say, if it wasn't for that penalty, I don't think we would have scored. Liam? Yeah, it's a bit of a slow game, not too much. I think we've been the better side. Um, but like, it's a Neil Warnock team, and it just like to frustrate you. But uh, I think we'll get another goal. Like Connor said, John Smith's playing well. I had him to score one of the goals as well today. I didn't actually say it on the video, but I did, did have one of them to score. Um, I think we'll get another goal. But um, yeah, hopefully it picks up second half. It's not been the best, it's been a bit flat. See you second half, guys. Come right, on. Guys, joined by Louis. Little West Brom Academy player, aren't you? What's your uh, score prediction for the end of the game? Who's going to score the other goal? Oh, nice. Keep up your football. Give us an up the Albion. Should be 1-1 one, one there. I don't know where he's missed that, to be honest. Should be scoring.
in about two or three minutes of added time. I'm getting quite nervous to be honest. I just feel the push in. And I am quite nervous, come on out here. All right, guys, full time, 1-0 West Brom. Got the job done, um, you know, they were pushing at the end, Huddersfield, same as the Wigan game, really. It was just a copy all over again. Um, I think we deserved the win, but in the end, they put the pressure on a lot and it, they made it really nerve wracking for us, but happy with the home form. Um, but just a bit nervous about Cardiff now because, you know, we need to start winning our away games. We're brilliant at home. We haven't lost many, but our away form's awful. Liam, what do you make of it? Um, just happy we held out, you know, wasn't the best performance in the world, but it certainly weren't the worst, you know, we got the job done, stay professional again, just like Wigan, they're, gonna, they're always going to be scrappy games when, you fight, when you're playing teams who are fighting relegation, yes, I'd, um, it's always going to be a tough one, but I'm really pleased that we got it done, hopefully we can get some at Cardiff as well, because our away form needs to improve. Don't speak too soon, but don't forget to <laughs> come and subscribe, <laughs> see you in the next one, cheers.